Okay, so let's check in with first alert meteorologist Darren Peck. I mean, beautiful chopper shots there. I know they're showing some disaster from the mudslides and right. all that saturated uh, mud, but weather-wise. It was so beautiful yeah. today. What a great start to the month of April. of Just sunny skies. It was so refreshing. Yeah, we're going to get two days like this as well because <laughs> tomorrow is going to be just as nice. But it's really the setup for a classic case of, of spring weather whiplash. So enjoy these next two days, but just know we are due for a quick return to cold and rainy. And I'm going to use the virtual map to show you the difference here from tomorrow to Thursday. We're going to look at two different sets of numbers. So the first thing you're going to see is tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to look a lot like this. You're going to have plenty of blue sky and daytime highs here for many locations. Pick out your part of the bay. Many of these spots are going to warm up into the 70s. Let's hang out here for one second because now I'm going to switch up the numbers. In fact, let's get a slightly better view in the South Bay for some of these numbers because some of the more dramatic temperature differences from tomorrow to Thursday are going to show up down there. So all we're going to do is we're going to say goodbye to those beautiful daytime highs tomorrow in the low 70s. And I just want you to see how much colder your part of the bay is going to be by the time we get to Thursday from where you're going to be tomorrow. Some of these are close to 20 degrees colder. It's a big drop. So the cold air is one aspect of this. We, and by the way, this means daytime highs in the 50s pretty much Bay Area wide by Thursday. We started looking at this in the last visit. Let's use some of the forecast imagery to try and get a little more specific in terms of what's coming our way. We already know, because we saw the leading edge of this last visit, there's some rain coming with this. And the rain won't be super impactful here. We're talking about maybe a half an inch of rain, but it's going to come in on Thursday. Watch what happens when we watch the, uh, let's, in fact, let's get this into the future cast just to kind of time out the arrival of that rain. And we'll come in for a closer look now. There we go. Here's Thursday. And the Thursday rain pretty much comes through right in the middle of the day. That's like noon right there when the bad uh, widespread bands of rain move overhead. And then we keep this chance of showers going from Thursday. We'll put it into a slightly longer range look at this. And it, it keeps going until we get to about Friday in the afternoon. So you'll see there's two days worth of rain in the seven day forecast. But the majority of this is going to come on Thursday. Friday, it'll probably be leftover showers. And if you look at the totals, we could get maybe a tenths of an inch of rain in Santa Rosa over two days, half an inch of rain for San Francisco. So it's widespread, noticeable rain. We're not concerned about flooding from it, but it's going to get wet. It's going to get gray and it's going to get colder. That would be the main thing. You know, because you, by the way, speaking of colder, look what happens on the other side of the state from this. There's still another perhaps eight to 10 inches of snow coming to Donner Pass. And just a closer look at that as we look at that time frame from Thursday into Friday. For anybody who's got to travel, this does have an impact on the drive. So that's system number one that will come through. It is the colder air. I think the visualization of this probably is the image of the day in terms of giving everybody a heads up on what's coming. The colder air slinks down here going into Thursday and Friday. <clears throat> Morning lows then getting down into the upper 30s for many locations for the inland valleys. Let's put it in the seven day forecast and we're going to do two separate microclimates here. So if you look at the forecast for the bay in general, the story is the same for the rain. Widespread rain Thursday, showers on Friday. Yes, there's another system which could put a drop or two on Sunday, but it doesn't look big. It's primarily Thursday and Friday with the rain. Now, just to take a look at the other microclimate, we're going to do this for inland parts of the bay because it's that temperature swing that really stands out. When we're getting our rain on Thursday, daytime highs are low 50s after tomorrow's mid 